Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy Tactics. In the last episode, we only did one battle, didn't we? We did the Grog Hill battle. That was it. Yeah, pretty much. So, basically, we after Orbone, my sister got taken. We need to go after. They're at Rio Vane's castle. We have to go over hill, over the hill, and through the woods to Rio Vane's castle. We go. Um, I did a bunch of propositions. I did the Battle of Grog Hill. We gotta go through the Yardo Fort City and the Yu-Gi-Oh! Woods. I'm thinking let's do that today. Um, one thing I should mention off-screen, I did not do anything. I know I said I was gonna do a bunch of shit off-screen. I have not had time since I last recorded. Oh well, I'll have to work on it tomorrow. So be it. In today's episode, though, we're gonna go ahead and do what I just said. We should be fine. I'm already leveled up enough. If anything, I might just fucking roll with what I have. I'm just scared of the Rio Veins castle battles, but we'll talk about that when we get there next episode. For now, Yardo Fort City, here we come! One of the battles I completely forgot about, but now that I know what, or now that I remember what it's all about, we should be all good. It is tempting to switch Ramza back to a Lancer for this one, but we should be fine. Alright, so, Ramza, Ninja, you know. You know the squad! Oh, there's a hole there. You can't put anybody there. Okay. Bust the summoner out, and of course, gotta have Mustario and Agrius. This is the party for the foreseeable future. Well, yeah, for the rest of this section, anyway. Yardow Fort City! Welcome to the Fort of City. It's so pretty. This might be in a short episode, depending on how fast to get through this battle. Because I know the next battle is not that bad. Remember this guy? We met this guy. He told us to go to Rio Veins back in Dorter Trade City. Remember that? Anyway, this is him. You know what you are saying. You're the one who doesn't. You're the one who doesn't. We're not tools. Tools for murder. If we stay there, we'll be used as tools till we die. Come on, Malak. Let's escape together. Who helped us when we lost our parents in the war? If Grand Duke hadn't used, saved us, we'd, be, we'd have starved. He cared about us. Now you're returning the favor with vengeance? You've been deceived. Barrington took advantage of war and burned the village. Why? To get the family skills our, only our family knows. He burned the village to get my heaven skill and your hell skill. He killed our parents, don't you see? Oh, oh, that's ridiculous. You know what he did? What he did to me? I know you know. Don't say any more. Otherwise, I... Uh-oh. So here you are, Malik. He'll be here soon. Uh-oh. Ninjas and summoners? Uh-oh. I know. It's all set. Malik. I did the wrong voice for Malik there for a second. Here he comes. Heretic Ramsa. Rafa! Help me! Okay. <laughs> a girl runs up to us and screams, Help! Why not? Alright, so the conditions for this one are to save Rafa. This battle is not that... I don't know. It's not that I don't know. That's that's all I got. So this battle can be a little bit dangerous when they got two ninjas. Or do they have three ninjas? Is it three ninjas? I can't remember. So it's dangerous because they have ninjas which are fast. But it's not that bad because they're ninjas and they get their ass whooped pretty hard. You just have to watch out for Rafa. She dies, game over. These ninjas including Barney the Ninja right here. We'll try to jump her ass. But, as per usual, they line up like a bunch of dumbasses, and my ninja is gonna fucking run a train called Earth Slash Up Their Dicks. Check it. Earth Slash Up Your Dicks, boy. That's what I'm talking about. Alright, Rafa, don't go in there! Yeah, cast a spell and then run away. So, Rafa, she's a Heaven Knight, as she mentioned, and Malak as mentioned in that cutscene, or whatever that little, that little number they just talked about. He's a Hell Knight. Heaven and Hell skill that she was talking about. Anyway, you! You're that man! You're supposed to be waiting at, at Rio Vane's castle. That was what Grand Duke said. I'll prove we can beat you without these Shrine Knights. Well, I don't... You're gonna regret any of that. I'll just tell you that right now. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and yell at my ninja, because if my ninja goes faster than those ninjas, shit is over, son! My ninja is all we need. Also, we do have to be wary, they do have summoners. Gotta keep, keep a little bit spread.
spread out for that. I should be able to fuck some bitches up right here. Holy Explosion would be great. The only problem is hitting my own ninjas bad. I think I'm better off hitting Lightning Stab because I'll kill, I'll kill two ninjas and I'll hit Malik. I think if you kill Malik first in this battle, he'll just run away since it's not a defeat Malik battle, it's a uh, save Rafa battle. If it was a defeat Malik battle, I'd be like, oh, we gotta do that. Also, she needs to be healed, so I'm just gonna put my boy Mustadio in position and do it. This battle is gonna be fast as fuck. Those ninjas are super weak, dude. Mages and ninjas are nothing. Asura! So, I don't really like these moves. They can be quite useful if they actually hit. I mean, right now... Actually, that was nice that it actually hit one of them. They're so random. I don't like those moves at all. You do, they're basically AoEs that are random, and I hate them so much. I am not a fan of them. I will probably talk more about it as time goes on, but... Yeah, I'll just tell you now, the Heaven and Hell Knight moves are not moves that I like in this game. They are not useful to me, in my opinion. Ooh, my summoner is about to fuck this summoner up if she can teleport up there. Nailed it. Alright, check this shit out. We're gonna do our first summon, guys. It's gonna be epic. Can we do Bahamut before her? Nope. Can we do Ramu before her? We can't. Then I'm gonna Ramu the shit out of y'all right now. Y'all ain't going nowhere. Where you going? Nowhere. I'm not going to be able to hit that ninja. He's going to move. As long as it hits the summoner, I'm happy. If it's Malik too, even better. Let's do it. Oh. No, no, we're good. I was thinking it was going to hit. I didn't even see how much damage it was going to do. I just wanted to cast Ramu and see what happened. I wanted to kill that ninja, but... Oh, well. I could have killed that ninja. What the hell? I'm stupid. Oh, well. Whatever. So our first look at Ramu. Ramu's pretty cute. Wait. Damn, I hate retreating like this. Okay, so you don't even have to kill him. You just have to make him kneel and then he runs away. What a scary man he is. Leaving his two summoners and, nin and one ninja behind. What a dump ass. Holy crap, that did a lot of damage. 144. Good load. Oh, this one's probably going to hurt. It's going to hit at least... Agrias and, 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 and Ramsa. Ramsa is number one. Oh, jeez. Agrias got her ass handed to her. Well, that's fun. Okay, well, whatever. I'm gonna go kill... Who am I gonna kill? I'm gonna kill this summoner first. Just because. She looked at me wrong. I don't know. She's the one that hit me with fucking... What's it called? So I don't care. Rafa's weak sauce, man. She just runs away. Just running away. Alright, as for Ramza, I'm just gonna squeak up, squeak in here. Squeeze in here. Can I hit him with some Asura? I can. Or fight him with Kotetsu. Yeah, let's hit him with Kotetsu. Maybe we'll get some good damage. Let's see. Kotetsu, bitch! Nice! The ninja's dead, too. Alright, now we're looking real good. I'm gonna go ahead and revive Agrius. This battle, dude, I haven't even been playing for 10 minutes. This battle's already over. This is gonna be a short episode. Very, very much so. Because I'm just gonna plow through these battles like it ain't nothing. Oh my god, my ninja gets to go again? Yo, shit is over! Get it! Done! Let's go! Pack your bags, we're out of here. <laughs> Too easy. Are you alright? Yes, uh, thank you. I, I... If they return, we're in trouble. Let's hide. I ain't scared. I just fucked those ninjas and summoners up right in their faces. That was ridiculously too easy. Don't get spoiled by how easy that was. Also, we got a free Yagyu Darkness. It's basically the best shuriken in the game. You get one. Don't waste it. Just kidding. But you can get... You can't get another one for a while. It's the only one you get for now. So... Use it on somebody who deserves it. Alright, let's converse with Rafa real quick, shall we? Barentin wants only one thing, to be the king. They call him Weapon King for making strong weapons and training many wizards. There's one who incites the Grand Duke that is of the royal family. Killing Larg and Goltana set the stage for him to become a regent. 
Why do you keep fighting being branded a heretic? I think I know why, but nobody will thank you for beating him. I'm not fighting for thanks. I'm fighting for honor and the pride as a Beowulf. That's a lie. You aren't that noble. You can't ignore injustice or evil in front of you. You flatter me. I'm not that good. But what are you going to do? I must go to Rio Vane to save Alma. But you barely escaped from there, right? I must keep my brother out. Why are you two fighting? We're Fiti Warrior Year War Orphans. I'll never forget those days, looking through garbage and dead bodies for food. That's when Barrington saved us. I believed in God then. Barrington built orphanages for the war orphans, but he provided training to gifted children to be professional assassins. You must be those children. We, Kaltanas, have secret skills of the family. My heaven skill and my brother's hell skill. These two skills differ from magic. Barrington wanted them, but the family elder refused him, so he burned the village. He decided if he couldn't have them, he'd erase them from this world. He probably was excited when he found us among the orphans. You tried to escape when you found out the truth. You, we yearned for him to be like our father, but even then... So this is where you are hiding. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Malak! What? He's a fucking frog! What? Hello? Listen, Ramsa, Ribbit. Hurry to Riovain's castle, or your sister will be dead, Ribbit. If you touch Alma, I'll show no mercy, bitch. Rafa, you're coming too! Desist and Ramsa's sister dies because of you! It's not fair. They have nothing to do with us. This is not a warning. It's an order. <laughs> I love that the frog explodes. Fucking ridiculous. Let's go, Ramza. Sorry, Rafa. You had to do this because of us. It's not your fault. Don't worry. It's okay. Okay, Rafa. We got this. We will get this and we will kick your brother's ass. Kick Barrington's ass. Kick everybody's ass to get my sister back. That is all there is to it. Okay? Okay. Sounds good. Alright, so Yardo Fort City is an actual city, so you can visit and you can do things, like buy stuff. Do they sell anything that I want, though? I don't know. Do I want any of your stuff? Ooh, golden hairpin. MP plus 50, silence, cancel. Yes, please. Give me at least one of those for my mage. Um, in fact, I think I only want one. Golden hairpin is nice. I don't really need the MP plus 50 on anyone else, though. Yeah, pretty much. Twist headband is still more worth it for my ninja. He kicks way more ass with it. Um, yeah, I'm good with that. Sprint shoes. Oh my god, they have sprint shoes here. Oh my god. I'm gonna buy one, dude. I'm buying one. I don't even know if I'm gonna use it right now, but I'm buying one. Bracer, what does that do? Ooh, I didn't realize bracer made your attack go plus three. Oh, that's fucking ridiculous. It is fucking expensive, though. 50k is a lot. I'm not going to be able to buy a lot of these accessories this quickly. Although they do have Dracula armlets as well. Holy moly. I forgot that... Or Dracula mantles, rather. I forgot they have some of this stuff this early on. But, I mean, I say early on like we're early in the game still. We're really not. I would say we're about at, like, the halfway point of, how, like, of all the battles in the game now. I don't know. Maybe once we get past Rio Veins, I can officially say we're technically halfway through the game. I don't know, man. There's only four chapters, so technically, we probably are past halfway. It just feels like I have a long way to go still. That's probably because we do. But, as it's been so far, this game's gonna fly by me so goddamn fast, I won't even realize it. Okay, so this next battle. Uh, this next battle. So, it's probably gonna be even easier than the one we just did. There is a way to exploit this next battle so hard. I will probably at least show how to exploit it. I probably won't exploit it too badly because I have a ninja who's ridiculous. Speaking of the ninja who's ridiculous, I'm going to buy all his moves. I'm going to start by buying two swords. And then we'll buy the next 900 move next. Um, Summoner doesn't have enough for anything good yet. Mustario, what do you have? Um, he's chemist. What was the next thing I was going to learn with him? 
I think I was gonna save up for holy water. We will need holy water soon, but I don't think we'll need it for the Rio Veins castle battle, so I might hold off on it. Maybe I'll just learn X Potion for now, and then I'll learn holy water next. And then Agria is still working on night, because I didn't get a chance to do the monk thing that I said I was gonna do, guys. I didn't get a chance. Sorry, but I didn't get a chance. I'm also gonna put weapon guard on. I should have done that already, forgot. Um, that's fine. Okay. I'm cool with that. Let's just save it real quick and let's get on to the next battle, shall we? Again, I was gonna say this would be a short video, but I think we'll pass the 30 minute mark after doing one more fight. Which means it'll be a perfectly legit length video. Let's go to Yu Gi Oh Woods. It's Yu Guo. I don't know. I never knew how to pronounce this. Yu Gi Oh. Yu Guo. Yu Guo. I don't know. I like calling it the Yu Gi Oh Woods just because I like Yu Gi Oh. Yu Gi Oh didn't come out by the time this game came out, so. Like, Yu-Gi-Oh! wasn't here in America yet. I don't know if it was in Japan yet. I don't know. I don't know. Did we get Yu-Gi-Oh! at the same time that Japan did? I don't fucking know. Did they get it first? Were they more special or sister sister than us? <laughs> I don't know. All I know is I'm about to set up cross formation. Let's go. Cross formation! I'm gonna see if I can utilize some... Hey, actually, do I have time magic? Hmm. I think I do. I don't remember taking it off, but who knows? Who knows? Actually, the only person who can really exploit this battle right now is Mustadio, because he's a chemist. Anyway, check out this small-ass map. Yeah, I always thought this was a weird map, just because it's so small. Oh, yeah, and Rafa's with us. I didn't even show that. She's actually a guest right now. I forgot to show that. Anyway. Those who died in the war haven't been able to rest. Return to the future life once again with your affection left in this life. What is she talking about? Well, if you haven't noticed, well, first off, check out those time mages in that wizard. They're floating. Why are they floating? Well, this forest or woods or whatever is full of undead enemies. I'm actually just going to wait here until my bitch casts haze. Um, it's full of undead enemies. So those, those bitches floating are actually undead. Those are undead time mage, undead um, wizard. And then there's three ghosts. There's only three ghosts, right? And we pretty much have all three types of ghosts, too. This should be interesting. But anyway, uh, all... Oh, there's two wizards. Okay. All that really means that everything's undead is that everything is weak to holy magic and, or, you know, cure magic will work against an enemy, which is amazing. But I didn't bring anybody who has cure magic. But items also work against enemies. And guess what happens if you use a phoenix down on an undead enemy? Did I show that before? I think I showed that when we were in the, the Zagola Swamp or whatever, down by Gaug earlier. Um, yeah, undead enemies. We get wrecked by uh, holy magic and healing magic. So we're... Basically what I'm saying is if you phoenix down every enemy in this battle, they'll die in one hit. The end. That's what I'm trying to get at. And I will not quite go that apeshit with it, but I probably will kill a couple of them. Most likely the mages, because they're more annoying. Um, can I hit? And I, I, otherwise, I'll probably just be using stuff like Holy Sword, which apparently can't reach anyone from here. Lame. Death stab to you then, sir. Key up. Alright. Samurai, I'm just gonna yell at my ninja. Keep his speed up. Yeah, so my ninja doesn't have item. He does have chakra, or he has uh, monk moves, which means he probably... Oh, I never gave that mithril gun to Mustadio. Shiza, he's still using the Ramondan gun. Whoopsies. I remember I got a mithril gun like four battles ago. I think that was the battle at Golan. No, 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 no. I got the gun from the Grog Hill battle, right? I think that's what I I forgot that. Anyway, let's try and get haste. I don't even need haste in this one. Also, my ninja's not even in range, man. It's okay. He's the one guy who doesn't need it. It's okay. Come on. Work on somebody. Work on somebody. All right. I'll take it as long as it works on somebody. Even if it's just Mustadio. All right, ninja. I'm going to have you take out the motherfucking time mage because I'm not dealing with your shit, time mage. I ain't dealing with your shit. Get out of here. The other thing you have to be wary of with the undead enemies, which I explained before, is if you let their number run out, you know, the number that pops up when they die, if you let that run out, they will revive automatically. Undead enemies don't stay dead forever. 
So you basically got to kill them all quickly. And that's another reason why you should just exploit Phoenix Downs and other assorted healing magic if you have it. Um, chemists are great because you can just throw Phoenix Downs at all these bitches. And uh, yeah, actually, haste on Mustadio might make him our MVP here. We'll see. We'll see. If I exploit the Phoenix Down option like I was thinking about doing, I might just go ahead and do that. We'll see. We'll see. Don't you, don't you even leave my ninja alone. For me, all right, Agrius. Let them know. Show them what the holy explosion's all about. They lined up for you. Show them what is up. Get it. Again, they're undead, so they should be weak to holy as well. Booyah, Chaka, get some. I'll take it. All right. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and yell at. I don't know. Can I hit anybody? I guess I can hit this guy. I wonder if I can just kill him. If I chop him in the face, will he die in one hit? Nope. Do it anyways. For funsies. So yeah, I have a bad habit of this battle just being Phoenix Down Fest, kill everything in a few turns. So I'm trying to not do that quite an exploitation on it. Again, I will probably throw at least one Phoenix Down at these fucks. Just haven't really got an opportunity yet. Other than letting Mustadio shoot that one bitch. <sighs> I swear that move's so pointless. Oh wow. This wizard is fucked. Did I ever tell you how fucked you are, wizard? Well, let me go ahead and elaborate. Get fucked! 252. That is absurd. I am way over leveled with my ninja. He's 27, dude. That's insane. He's 27? I didn't even know he was 27. That's insane. Why am I so leveled with him? It's because he does all the hard work, man. Every five kills he gets, he gets a level up. 20 experience per a pop. Just stop letting him get all the kills. It's the problem I have with games like Fire Emblem. I let someone get all the kills, and there's like nothing I can do about fixing that because you can't really grind in that game. Why are we talking about Fire Emblem? I don't know. I brought it up. It's my own fault. It's my own fault. Can I hit somebody with Bahamut? I would love to hit some Bahamut up in here, dude. Check this shit out. Check this shit out. Check it. I'm excited. I'm excited to see what this is capable of. Um, I'm also going to shoot somebody. Yeah, you want to shoot somebody. You guys ready for some Bahamut, dude? We'll have to get hit with some Bolt 3 first, but I am excited. I put my summoner in harm's way there. Whoops. Oh, well. Watch this. Here he comes to wreck the day. God damn, Bahama, you crazy boy. Look at that shit. Look at that shit. And we win. <laughs> Oh, see how ridiculous summoners can be when things bunch together? It's absurd. <laughs> the spiritual forest, I never want to come back. I told you this battle would be faster than the other one, and I was 100% correct. <laughs> Goddamn, dude. Goddamn. Holy moly. Talk about a shorter episode. Didn't I call that one? That's fine. Yeah, we're definitely not going to Rio Veins in this video. Nope, nope, nope. I gotta decide what I'm gonna do with Rio Veins though. Cause Rio Veins is another one of those situations where you fight, I believe it's three battles in a row. None of them are easy. In fact, two of them I would consider two of the hardest battles in the whole game, in my opinion. At least up to this point in the game. Like, for the relative uh, point you are in the game, this is one, two of the harder battles. So. Just know that if you go in here, you are locked in to do those battles. Unless you force you, know, you save it before you get there, which is what I'm obviously going to do. But I have been stuck here before. I have been in that idiot who only had one save file, went to Rio Veins, and cock blocked forever. So I do not recommend it. Um, yeah, that's all I can say. 
So make sure that you uh, you save it if you're going to play this game before you go to Rio Veins. Uh, very much prepare. The, like I said, the battles are very hard. I would say if you wanted, if you want my opinion, we'll talk about it more in the next episode. But I would say the second battle is the harder of the three battles because the third battle, while it's bullshit, is more straightforward. Like you just have to do it one way, and there's only one way to do it really. Either way, I'm going to stop battling about it. We'll talk about it more in the next one because it's going to be a fucking hell of a time. In between episodes, I probably will do some grinding this time. I really want to get Agrius to be a, a, a Geomancer, like I said. And I might switch Ramza back to a Lancer for this section. But I might want to level up his Lancer a little bit more in the process. So, let me decide what to do. I'll figure it out. And in the next one, we'll handle some business and get my sister back if I can. So, I'll see you guys then. Peace!